Hey guys! Hello, gorgeous. Sunday, January 29th was the Ontario Collectors Con in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. Here's a quick little recap of all the cool swag that was there, as well as the guests that dropped by. David Sobolov was one of three guests. He's currently appearing as Drax the Destroyer on the Guardians of the Galaxy animated show. You remind me of someone I cared for long ago, but she was taken away from me. But I know him best as the baddest bot on Beast Wars, Depth Charge. This time, I won't bother with a cage creep! David was nice enough to chat for a few minutes, and he's a really cool guy. But I'm absolutely gutted to say that the audio of the interview was not salvageable due to technical difficulties. Hopefully I can bump into him again at one of these expos in the future. One of the other featured guests was Alex Milne, artist for IDW's Transformers comics. Luckily, the audio for that interview did turn out okay, and I'll have that up in a bit. And the final guest was the self-proclaimed greatest intercontinental champion of all time, WWF's The Honky Tonk Man. I got long side burns and my hair slicked back, I'm coming to your town, and my pink Cadillac, I'm just a honky tonk man. The Star Wars cosplayers were out as usual. A Death Star Trooper, Storm Troopers... Oh no, she's holding a thermal detonator, oh! And it was cool to see a little bit of love for our dearly departed princess. This was a great Leia in Bounty Hunter Boosh disguise costume. I'm not going to document everything I saw this time out like I have in the past. I'll just share a couple of the coolest and rarest items I saw. Here's something I didn't even know existed, a G.I. Joe laser tag set. Even though I had no intention of buying most of this stuff, it's still pretty cool to see it all displayed and organized like this. And it's always cool seeing a grandizer in the wild. If seeing a bunch of carded vintage style Star Wars figures on a wall doesn't warm the cockles of your heart, you're dead inside. And G.I. Joe was there too! G.I. Joe, now with lifelike hair. The original that is, with fuzzy hair and beard and Kung Fu Grip. Some people might not realize that the real American hero they grew up on in the 80s was actually a G.I. Joe reboot. And another item I never knew existed... Mask Play-Doh! Yes, Play-Doh is the mighty power that can save the day. Here's a bag of California raisins, and they're just itching to dance. And a vintage kaleidoscope. And a very cool Disney picture frame. And my niece reminding us all that toys aren't just for display, they're for playing too. Carded Captain Power figures. Power on. These were in really nice shape and pretty cheap, so I've added them to my mint on card wall in the Mercy Toy Museum. And it's always great seeing mint in box vintage G.I. Joe items. Here's Destro and his Despoiler. And a mint on card dress blues gung ho and dial tone. Ah, nerds. Here's a box G.I. Joe Mobile Command Center. These prices are all in Canadian, so a lot of them are very reasonable. And a box G1 Omega Supreme. Kids today will never know just how magical this video game system was. The Atari video computer system is 20 cartridges with 1300 game variations you play on your own TV set. Along with some mint on card G.I. Joes, these brought back a lot of great memories. And another legendary video game system, the Nintendo Entertainment System with gun. Now you're playing with power. And some more gorgeous mint on card G.I. Joe figures. Not only do they not make figures like this anymore, they don't make card art like this anymore either. Like the, the artwork and then the file cards on the back. You've got a complete character. Yeah. He's got a code name, a real name. A specialty, a secondary specialty. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so awesome. And there's a couple of G.I. Joe Holy Grails. 
Mint on card, Storm Shadow, and 85 Snake Eyes. And a boxed Zartan. My wife picked up a couple of Muppet glasses. And a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles table hockey game because Canada. Check out who the goalie is. It's the guy I dressed up as for this past Halloween. One of the other items I picked up was Ocular Max's Trailbreaker. Why? Because I needed a force field. What you need is a force field! <laughs> okay, turn it off, Trailbreaker. Review coming soon. Pretty interesting to see how times have changed. Here's an A-Team assault rifle. No orange tip, no neon green body. Yep, if you were a kid in the 80s, you could literally run down the street with this thing pretending to shoot people. And I hardly ever see these at these toy expos. GoBots! There were a couple of really nice Masters of the Universe carded figures. The super rare Laser Light Skeletor. I could write a book about what you don't know! And a Mint on Card Faker. as well as some sealed original Lord of the Rings figures. That doesn't look anything like Vigo. Here's an obscure 80s toy line I haven't seen in ages. Stariors. Giant robot controlled warriors will protect the planet Earth. I had one of these when I was a kid and it was one of my favorite toys. If you can't go to San Diego Comic Con, wait for San Diego Comic Con to come to you. They had some Transformers and G.I. Joe Comic Con exclusives. And some Dinobots. And the big guy himself, Fortress Maximus. And what a coincidence, I just reviewed the mask device on my channel. Here's the first G.I. Joe DVD battle pack that contains parts of the mask device. This is one of the few times I've ever actually seen this pack in person. And no matter how many times I see him, even without all the upgrades, G1 Predaking still impresses me. And there was a slightly crooked shockwave there too. Vintage Tron figures. Or maybe that's the Nika reissue, it's hard to tell. And another guy I just recently featured on my channel. The master of the Samoflange. And keep your foot off that blasted Samoflange! What the heck is a Samoflange? Nice mint on card Jaga too. Sadly, out of my price range. And Robear Burbles. Burbles. Herbal derbly burble herbal. This is a boxed Cobra Night Raven. One of the coolest G.I. Joe jets ever made. And a Fraggle was there too. And the final item I picked up, Transformers Platinum Reissue Trypticon. Never had them as a kid, so I'm really excited to finally get them. Once again, review coming soon. And there were a couple of loose G.I. Joe items, a pair of Retaliator helicopters, a killer whale, mobile command center, and the second biggest G.I. Joe playset ever made behind the USS flag, the Defiant Space Shuttle Complex. Alert, alert, Cobra attack, ready to it's the G.I. Joe Defiant Complex and it's loaded with firepower. So that's my quick little recap of the Ontario Collectors Con. If you liked the video, be sure to share it, leave a comment below, and to join the Nerd Tribe, hit subscribe. Nerd Mistake.